As we know, the stage is set for India's biggest demolition to take place. These are live pictures that we are getting to you from Noida there, that you can see the preparations are all in full, on in full swing. At 2.30 p.m. this afternoon, the, both the towers which have been in dispute for the past nine years will be brought down in explosions which will be triggered, controlled implosions rather, that's what it's been called, which will be triggered over a period of nine seconds. The entire duration of the towers being brought down, the actual demolition is most likely going to take maximum 15 seconds, but within minutes, although it's just going to take a few seconds rather for this demolition to take place, but all eyes on what is being seen as one of the biggest spectacles which is going to take place today and the biggest demolition that we have in fact seen in the country. There's, uh, residents have in fact been told to vacate the surrounding buildings as well as a precautionary measure, though the authorities have in fact said that all safety measures and checks are put in place, are still being put in place in order to ensure that uh, there are no untoward incidents. I'm joined by my colleague Ila and Karishma who are both at the venue there at a safe distance, of course, both of them standing by there. Let me go across to my colleague Ila first. Ila, uh, we were talking, you were talking to a few residents just a short while back. Uh, any apprehensions being expressed by them, you know, because there are buildings right next to the Twin Towers as well. And uh, those have also been, I mean, the call has been given out to vacate them. But there's a little bit of concern among those residents also about what's going to happen at 2.30. Obviously, Tanima, the residents are concerned over the safety and security of their buildings and uh, their properties because this is happening for the first time when the, such a giant and huge building would be bought down around 2.30 p.m. And you can see right behind me both towers, that is Apex in Xi'an after a long fight from the residents who were living there as this building was, was Ill illegally constructed. And after a long fight, now residents have won it now the twin tower is all set uh, to de get demolished today and here you can see the police has barricaded this way and no entry would be allowed to oh, any of the vehicles who moving towards this side and from other sides as well which are the routes going towards the super tech are closed now uh, from uh, and the last deadline to get everyone evacuated from both the uh, buildings adjacent societies was around 7 and so no, almost everyone has left the place and, and the police has sealed the place and barricaded the place. Yet the people, uh, the commuters who are commuting towards the uh, sector 93 where this uh, super tech to tower is established that are now getting diverted to uh, different routes and police not allowing and you can see that uh, there is traffic police as well as the Noida police which is not allowing anyone to pass through uh, this route so many people have uh, you know got diverted from here and around 5,000 people who are living in both the buildings which were adjacent to super tech twin tower that is ATS village as well as uh, as well as the super tech emerald uh, 5,000 people with their vehicles have evacuated even the uh, rescue uh, uh, even the uh, their pets were uh, uh, evacuated even the street uh, animals were evacuated so there is no stone unturned from the authorities and the police to make this all safe and secure and see how these commuters are trying to go towards only the police is being allowed and the authorities being allowed and rest of them are getting diverted. Ma'am, what's your name? Bushra. Where are you from? Delhi. Delhi. So where are you from? I am very busy. So you right, can Ila. see that the commuters are being diverted from this particular route and this has uh, been closed for the uh, public now. Only the authorities would be allowed to move towards this direction and around right. 500 meters of this uh, whole route is being closed by Noida police. Right. Yeah, back to you. Right, Ila. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Please stay with us. I'm also joined by my colleague Karishma. Karishma, Ila was of course talking about the res <clears throat> the residents' point of view over there. The ones who are, of course, living around that area, the commuters in that area. 
but there's also a lot of uh, interest of curious bystanders you know i'm not sure whether it's too early in the day to for actually people to start gathering but you know we were reading up that you know people are trying to reach there early so they book a like a prime spot in order to see this kind of a visual spectacle that india has probably not witnessed before only in movies for that matter so is do you do you see those curious bystanders also lining up Well, yes, Tonima. In fact, since yesterday, we've been seeing people stopping their cars and、uh, trying to get a look at the towers because this is unprecedented. The order that has been passed by the Supreme Court, and we are currently at a vantage point from where I can directly show you the towers, which are going to be raised to the ground in about nine seconds at the. 2:30 p.m. today. Yes, there is a lot of curious anxiety amongst people to see how it's going to happen. What is exactly going to happen? How are they going to fall? How are they going to raise、uh, to the ground?、Uh, but uh, the Noida authority, uh, the police officials, taking all uh, uh, you know precautions and asking people to stay away. In fact, just earlier today at about 7 a.m., final calls were being made for people to be evacuated from the nearby、uh, societies which fall in the 50 meter radius of the Super Tech、uh, Twin Tower. Towers and now these towers of graft, the towers of corruption, are going to come down at 2:30 p.m. There is also a nervous energy amongst the residents who stay in the nearby societies. Obviously,、uh, happy that they、uh, they have you know had this victory with the towers of graft coming down because they has they have been fighting in the court for a decade, Tonima. But yes, obviously they've been assured that there will be minimum、uh, to minimum damage、uh, to their、uh, society, but nobody can take a hundred percent guarantee of what is going. Going to happen at、uh, 2:30 p.m., but a waterfall implosion is what we are being、uh, told is going to happen.、Uh, 1,500 charges have been put in these、uh, structures, 9,000 holes in the pillars to ensure that it goes on as smoothly as uh, possible. Uh, so 2:30 p.m. is when these towers of graft are going to come down at 2:30 p.m., and all the people in and around Noida wanting to get a look as to how it's going to happen, because like I said earlier, this is unprecedented. And hasn't happened in the recent memory of this country. And these were supposed to be the tallest towers in the entire country, Tanima.